Hi everyone. It is June 23rd, 2019. Well, yeah, we have entered a new era and unfortunately it is not going back. The tide will not be reversed. We are living something that, that I could never have imagined. The lunacy, the idiocy, the uh, shocking, blatant, obvious, patently obvious stupidity of our mainstream media. It's right in our face. And because the majority either don't get it or don't care about it, we are going to be seeing massive destruction taking place. Uh, the, the, the massive destruction that has taken place already just this year has been phenomenal. But I said that last year, at the beginning of last year, with all of the flash flooding that was occurring, which is on my playlist, U.S. floods. Okay, well, now I do believe that artificial intelligence is controlling the weather. Oh, with man's hand. But what we are seeing now is nothing I have ever seen before. I didn't know that I experienced this Friday night in Anderson, South Carolina. Thunderstorms are capable of producing tornadoes. We've seen the devastating images, but they can also cause something that can be just as damaging and even more widespread than a tornado. It's called a derecho. Many Duration. Really? Okay. Well, let's just continue listening to CNN's bullshit. Times you will get a line of storms that will bow out. And this is where you can count on very strong winds and it can last for hundreds of miles. But for a storm to be a derecho, it has to meet very specific criteria. The storm has to create a damage path of at least 250 miles. It also has to contain wind gusts of up to 58 miles per hour for most of that length. And it also has to have several well-separated 75 mile per hour gusts. Winds within a derecho can be as strong as a weak tornado, but it lasts for hundreds of miles. So the damage along with the derecho can be anything from toppled trees to power lines, even damage to your home. Okay. Uh, why did they come up with derecho? I believe they came up with derecho because a whole lot of people might have been asking questions might have been asking questions about the tornado damage that they have been saying. Seeing it's not tornado damage, so now it's a derecho. My God, are you kidding me? A Texas mom is accused of killing her three-year-old son by running him over during a game of chicken. All right. I know that a lot of you are struggling with this time period that we are living. So am I. Um, it's very hard to figure anything out. But yes, it's a fast-moving line of severe storms known as a derecho stretch from the Midwest to the South Carolina coastline, leaving three people dead, more than 350 damage reports, Interesting now. You read weather, you read uh, weather, com, whatever, whoever is reporting the weather. Damage reports, hail reports, uh, tree down reports. They're collecting the data on their man made weather, weather being used as a weapon. Extreme weather phenomena. Started in central Nebraska in the pre dawn hours on Friday traveled all the way to Charleston by Saturday morning. Well, uh, yeah, all right, well, uh, I could show you radar clips that I 
that I videoed and you know what there was no storm that just continuing continued that they're manufacturing all of these all of this the, look at the frequencies look at the lasers the laser shots look at the microwaves all of this is manufactured look at oh, I mean it looks like you know somebody is blowing uh, multicolored bubbles into the atmosphere all right well the the problem that we have our fellow Americans who don't want to know the truth don't care if they do know the truth and a whole lot hey ignorance is strength okay when you have the majority of the population that's ignorant ignorance is strength unfortunately it is bringing about an awful lot of destruction you can see I mean the manipulations going on with the extreme extremely low frequencies the microwaves all right well let's this is their facts CNN the term derecho is Spanish for the word straight and it was first defined by physicist Dr. Gustav uh, Gustavos Henriks in his paper in the American Meteor Meteorological Journal in 1888 you know real life is becoming obsolete real life is being killed off cyber life is replacing it and in cyber life they can write whatever they want and post it on the internet and suddenly it becomes true that's the world we're living in now widespread long-lived windstorms associated with a band of rapidly moving showers or thunderstorms, hurricane force winds, and flash flooding are typical of derechos. So, have you ever heard of a derecho? I haven't. But now we have them. And we have large hail, hurricane winds, every single day in many states all over the country. Severe wind, toppling trees, power lines, uh, derechos, apparently make holes in the roofs of homes. Yeah, here we have National Weather Service. Uh, here, this is what they just posted 13 hours ago. It's possible we won't have a nicer weekend of weather like this one for the rest of the year. Philadelphia, Mount Holly. We won't have a nicer weekend like this for the rest of the year. Do you get do you get that? So they can't they can't definitively forecast severe weather which is to take place within a few hours, but somehow they're coming out like that Darby Bybee in Arkansas who said we may uh, not have any more severe weather until the fall. Really? And then you go to another site with another meteorologist and yeah, guess what? Severe weather forecasted for this week. So I experienced the derecho. First at six, severe storms pounding the Carolinas. Listen to that. In the last two hours, blue skies turned black. We're seeing powerful wind and heavy rain downing trees and turning streets into streams. This here that you're looking at now, viewer video of Murray Hill Road in Madison Park in Charlotte. And take a look at our live Doppler radar. Right now, a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. 
We just checked Duke Energy's website right now. More than 17,000 people are in the dark across the Carolinas. All right. Uh, I will link below to everything. You can listen to it. But you guys who have been writing comments outraged at these reporters who seem excited and their affect, they seem actually happy. That's this woman's affect. And I understand the outrage. All right. Well, a lot of trees came down, power outages in South Carolina. And yeah, well, it was a thousand mile stretch of destruction of destruction. Have an existential shock. A type one civilization has the power of an entire planet. They control the weather. They mine the oceans. They control volcanoes. They control earthquakes. We are now witnessing the greatest transition in the history of the human race. Transition from type zero to type one. The generation now alive is privileged to see the birth pangs of the birth of a new civilization. And Venezuelan leader Hugo Chavez has once again accused the United States of playing God. But this time it's Haiti's disastrous earthquake that he thinks the U.S. was behind. Spanish newspaper ABC quotes Chavez as saying that the U.S. Navy launched a weapon capable of inducing a powerful earthquake off the shore of Haiti. He adds that this time it was only a drill and the final target is destroying and taking over Iran. The existence of a tectonic weapon has never been proved, but its use is often suspected. Last year, I confronted Heizo Takenaka, the former Japanese finance minister, over why he handed over control of the Japanese financial system to a group of American and European oligarchs. He and his envoy told me that it was because Japan had been threatened by an earthquake machine. I did not believe it at the time. However, when I started exposing some of their doings, I was told by the Japanese security police that because of what I had said on places like rents.com, that Niigata City was going to be hit by an earthquake. Two days later, Japan's largest nuclear reactor was the exact epicenter of two earthquakes, both 6.8 in magnitude. Japan just had a very, very friendly summit meeting with China, where the emperor met the Chinese leader three times. There is a possibility a part of Japan will sink. It will not be an accident. It will be created by, by the world government. Tonight, breaking news, Japan's tsunami disaster. A huge quake triggers chaos as people flee swaying buildings and city fires. I started doing research and found out about HARP, H-A-A-R-P. Okay, there's many ways to create an earthquake. And there's so much information regarding, well, weather. Bet on weather, weather derivatives. Yes, Chicago Stock Exchange. Hey, what a great way to make weather. Uh, to make money off of weather when you control weather. Billions off of weather destroying the planet. Weather weapons and earthquake bombs. World leaders condemn Britain and America's secret arsenal. What? Government sponsored technologies for weather modification? Washington's New World Order weapons have the ability to trigger climate change? Weather warfare, the invisible U.S. military offenses in 
whether weaponry, Navy research paper, disrupt economies with man-made floods and droughts. And militaries have been doing that for a very, very long time. Very long time. So, uh, what are we going to do? We can't get through to people. Uh, let's see. Earthquake weapon. 2025 technology abstract from a military document. Ultrasonic or acoustic weapons to destroy runways, buildings, bridges, roads. Those extremely low frequencies. You have transmitter sites, but you've got extremely low transmitter sites now in many areas of the country. Drive along the interstate. That's why a lot of weather reports include interstates. Yes, along interstate 40 or 20 or 80 or uh, 75 or 95. Be careful driving. They emit extremely low frequencies, ultrasonic acoustic frequencies. They can emit them through the ground. Guess what? All of the roads collapsing that we have been seeing from rain, all of what's underneath the road has just been loosened up with these frequencies. Yes, ultrasonic or acoustic weapon to destroy runways, buildings, bridges, weapon will generate a very strong acoustic wave that causes structures to resonate and thereby destroy them. Or how about this? High power, extremely low frequency radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquakes, cyclones, and localized heating. Harp is currently the most important facility used to generate extremely low frequency electromagnetic radiation in the ionosphere. HARP transmitter radiates a strong beam of high frequency waves modulated at extremely low frequency. So when they emit high frequency radiation from these Doppler radar stations, they emit powerful high frequencies into the ionosphere. And from the ionosphere, it bounces back extremely low frequency. It bounces back as extremely low frequencies that can cause earthquakes or cyclones or localized heating. So these signatures, the very defined circular pattern, high frequency Doppler radar stations, think of it as mini harp stations. I have never seen in the eight years that I've been looking at radar, never seen how uh, on occasion, you would see a harp ring. On occasion, you would see two intersecting. Now, they are ramping up the use of the high frequency heating throughout every storm. Nothing looks the same anymore. So, when you see all of these little circular lines jut out and another one, intersecting with it. Well, you can you can count on severe weather because it's being manufactured. It is being manufactured. So, this is a very good video, very good video. Um, I, they have an interview with Bernard Eastland who was one of the primary uh, constructors of HARP.
I never, I, I, an existential crisis, my God. We're living it. Um, the same guy who said this. Existential shock. A type one civilization has the power of an entire planet. They control the weather. They mine the oceans. They control volcanoes. They control earthquakes. We are now witnessing the greatest transition in the history of the human race. Transition from type zero to type one. The generation now alive is privileged to see the birth pangs of the birth of a new civilization. Yeah, artificial intelligence, civilization. Oh, well, the same guy who said that was also interviewed by Nora O'Donnell, who is a lying sack of shit. Now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor, nice to see you. Extraordinary seeing Al Gore and Bill Clinton there together with Charlie, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah. They did not get into this discussion, no. though. <laughs> but it is fascinating. I mean, lasers, really, to change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said. Everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This and that's what we are seeing here. Laser shots. causing an awful lot of destruction. But you're not going to ever hear the truth on mainstream media. So what we have is just living destruction now. Yeah. These these articles even from mainstream media, they are it is unbelievable. Do they not have people who proofread before they post? Dangerous storms will continue Monday over central U.S. So, Darby Vibe, you were wrong that we wouldn't have any severe weather until the fall. So now weather is flash flooding hail, isolated tornadoes, damaging wind gusts, hurricane winds, um, and the hurricane winds, well, Wichita, I believe you got 111 mile per hour gusts of winds in Wichita, Kansas. The wind is remarkable. 95, 90, 85 miles per hour. Oh, right, it's a derecho, so... That's what accounts for it. This woman in Kansas posted this today. Flooding in Kansas. Barricades. Can't drive down the main street of where she lives. But she also said this. Uh, also, <laughs> I found out last night that uh, Kansas, uh, maybe 75 miles from where I live, had a 4.6 earthquake about 4 a.m. And she's quite right. Well, the frequencies going off at 12.50 a.m. in Kansas were pretty powerful. And if you have an eye for detail, you will see the spikes in this precipitation on the periphery of the storm, the high frequency heating, emitting those high frequencies that bounce back as extremely low frequencies. And guess what? Well, 
they can cause earthquakes. Oh, okay. Well, let's just go back. Uh, also, the frequencies, the microwaves, look at these microwaves that were shooting off in Kansas quite powerfully. controlling this entire storm. All right. I don't know what to do anymore, guys. I don't know what to do anymore. I am... Um, I'm going to have to make a shift. And... If the me I used to be comes back, then I'll continue doing the research and posting, but I've got to make a shift. I'm not, we're living a time of great destruction. So, yeah, I'm afraid the comfortables still do a lot of judging, and I'm tired of it. I don't care. A whole lot of people are being destroyed, and many are my subscribers. Journal of Weather Modification. Journal of Weather Modification, 1969, March. Wow, a whole lot. This is a journal archive. A journal archive with so many articles on weather modification experiments. Oh, flip, just scroll through this. You'll see states, Kansas, Idaho, Texas, South and North Dakota, Oklahoma, California, Utah, Illinois, Montana, Colorado, countries, Serbia, Libya, Greece, Israel, India, Korea, Pakistan, Canada, Zimbabwe, uh, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Soviet Union, Weather modification in Alberta. Three rainfall augmentation programs in Texas. Subjects. Subjects include hail suppression, hail generation, hailstone diameter. How big can we make that hail? Downward effects of weather modification. A seven year, seven year continuous seeding on. French Atlantic coast, fog clearing, reviews of floods in Rapid City, um, applying ultra long range weather modification to environmental management. Yes, to manage the environment. Airborne seeding of tornadoes. Airborne seeding of tornadoes can weaken the tornado or intensify it or make it really big like a mile long. Modification of air masses, summer runoff, summer runoff increases due to weather modification, spraying warm fogs or measurement of attitudes toward weather modification. Huh. Measurement of attitudes. Well, we are measuring how the public feels about weather modification. And if we get a positive from people, we won't need to tweak our manipulation. If we get a negative, we've got to tweak our manipulation of the public. Cloud modification. Oh, all sorts of articles here. But we can't get through to people. Hearing marks the first time that a congressional committee has undertaken a serious review of proposals for climate engineering. This is about how we engineer the planet. It's about the fact, an uncomfortable fact, but it is a fact that we have the technical ability to do this.
Here we see how man-made cloud cover is being produced, which influences the climate. I will link below. Weather modification has been going on for years. And weather modification technology, decades of ever increasing tempo. Now, natural weather, mother nature, it's all been put into retirement for man. This new era of type one, type one, this whole new civilization has taken over. It's here and it ain't going back. It is not going back at all. More rough weather is expected in parts of the country. The strong storms are being blamed for at least three deaths in the Midwest. Torrential rain and high winds ripped off roofs and downed power lines in parts of Tennessee last night. And in parts of the Rockies, an early summer snowstorm. Meteorologist Jeff Baradelli has the latest in the nation's weather. Incredible. And what this meteorologist says conflicts with Darby or Dabai, Dar whatever his name is, Bybee in Arkansas. Severe weather in pretty much the same central plain. Oh, wait a second. It's not the same. Okay. It's going to go central plain, southeast. Then the jet stream is going to jump north and it's going to go on up to the Great Lakes and then it's going to come on back down to Texas. And who the hell knows if any of it will actually happen. First, snow falling from everywhere, it seems, on the first day of summer. Montana weather continues to break the rules, really showing us who is boss. A winter wonderland on this first day of the summer solstice. And who is boss? I'm sorry, but these guys, you know, they appeal to the masses. They speak to the masses. The masses who just do not think anymore to the intelligent, to the people who still have a working brain cell in their brains, to those who critically think, question, do some research. These people are, sorry to say, they are morons, irresponsible adults who get a salary, they live you know, comfortably, but they are doing a major disservice to all of us. Yeah. First day of summer, snow, two feet in Colorado and Italy. Italy, hail. This is hail. This is hail. All right. I will link below not to all of those articles that I showed you. This you can get the articles or the papers from the titles. But yes, we have an earthquake weapon. And yes, yeah, man has been using it. And leaders in other countries over the decades. People here, oh, it's Chavez and whatever that guy's name was in Iran. I can't even remember. And he came out stating that the United States is causing drought. Oh, but they're crazy. They're the crazy ones. No, they're not. They were telling the truth. This is only going to get worse. And yeah, it's hard to take when you have so many people, you're just watching people get destroyed every single day. Harp could capsize planet. A lot of people talking about how the, mag the uh, magnetic core, um, the, 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 it's not natural. This is not occurring due to natural um, processes that are taking place. This is happening because of man. 
not caring at all what they are doing to the planet with all of these artificial frequencies. A trillion watt, a billion watts, these frequencies being shot into the ionosphere from Doppler radar stations all over, bouncing back to Earth as extremely low frequencies. Hey, but it's you using your air conditioning and it's you driving your SUV and you who are going to stores and having your products put in plastic bags and it's cows farting. Do you understand that those who are controlling all of the information that you are hearing from mainstream media, do you understand that they are making such fools of you? Fools! You believe every friggin' lie or you just don't care about it. Well, when we don't care, when we continue to believe lies, all you can count on is life being destroyed. And that's what we are witnessing now on a daily basis. And yeah, it will get a whole lot worse.